Wednesday Motivation Talk. People that are in relationships and live together have the biggest come up. For example, let's say you guys monthly bills equals $2,000. That's a $1,000 that each of y'all put towards the bill, the bills. They give you guys a free $1,000 a month each that you can put away for hard times. You never know what a rainy day going to pop up when something going to go wrong, an unexpected problem around the house. You know what I'm saying? The money I read in the bank for that. You know, uh, uh, nowadays you don't know how long a relationship going to last. So that's $1,000 or some of that money you can put away for that. That way, when you got break up, you still got, the other person got money to move out. The other person got the money needed to cover all the bills by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Or that's money you can use to fix your credit. Or that's money you can use to build something better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, we're living in a society where people don't think like that. They got the mindset, oh, I gotta, I'm in a relationship. That person paying half of the bills. And then I have half of my money that I can fuck up on expensive hair dudes that I couldn't afford when I was broke or when I was struggling. I can I can go get a new car now, you know what I'm saying? Or I can I can go buy all this materialistic bullshit that means nothing at the end of the day. You know what I mean? All this materialistic stuff you guys buy, you can't take that back to the store and get the price value for it. Once you leave that lot, once you leave that once you leave that store with all this all that nice clothes and Jordans on your feet, you can't sell them new Jordans for the same price you bought them for. You know what I'm saying? America got to get back to that kind of thinking, man. Always have a backup plan. People talk that talk. People do this all day. People talk that talk all day. And then when them hard times come, that's who. That's when you really get to see who can really back up them words. And most of nine times out of ten, most people can't back their words up with action. That's the most sad thing I see nowadays. Most people cannot back their words up with action. That's pathetic, man. You know what I'm saying? I I I got to admit, I ain't always had this kind of mindset. But when I did gain, when I did achieve this level of thinking, I did apply it by all means to my life. Trust and believe that I applied it to all means of my life. That's just how I am. I mean, that's why I say when I get another relationship, struggling is not an option because I'm tired of doing bad. I'm tired of barely getting by. I'm tired of not having pocket money. You know what I mean? I mean, you get to that age where you grow up. And I'm pushing forward in that. And, and today is the second Today's the second of August. In eight days, I'll be 37 years old, and I have a bunch of relationships I can be in right now. I got a bunch of females I can be with right now, but they all got two things. They all got a, a few things in common. One, the only thing they bring to the table is sex and a home cooked meal. Most of them got their own place. Some of them got their own car. They got job, but it's piece of job. What I mean by piece of job is a job that can be here today and gone tomorrow. I don't want to build no future like that, man. You know what I'm saying? While y'all out here single, take advantage of that time to get yourself together. Get yourself where you want to be at life. You know what I mean? Because me, I'm to the point where I'm not, I don't want to be with no woman under 35. Since I'm finna be the Lord's wooden, I'll be 37 in eight days. And if you ain't 35 or older, I don't want you. Just that simple. If you ain't got your own place, your own transportation, and a, and a job where you're going to afford half of the bills, I don't want you. Straight up, if you missing any one of the three, I don't want you. I mean, it's just that simple. Women can have standards. Why can't men have standards? Men can have standards too. It's just society not used to men. Society not used to men having relationship guidelines and standards of what they want and what they don't want in their life. That's that's what is that's what society come to. You know what I'm saying? No, my standards right there. You ain't 35 or older. Got your own place, your own car, and a job. I don't fucking want. Also, you got to have big titties. If you ain't got C cup and bigger titties and a cute face, I don't want to. It's just simple me. Because, boy, what I got going on, what I'm building right now, struggles on the option. That's why you see my name on Facebook say, my middle name say, never broke again. I mean that to the day I die. Never broke again. I rather end a relationship before I go broke. It's that simple me. I don't, I don't believe in bad days no more. That's, that's that's something I would I would never go back to again. I don't give a fuck how long I can be with a woman twenty years. And we having too many bad days. It's time to let it go. It's that simple. Cause a good woman gonna recognize a good man, and vice versa, a good man gonna recognize a good woman. There's there's no other way to see it but that right there. You know what I mean?